G'day folks, it's the Maple Monkey here again with another Marvel United gameplay video for you. And uh, we're going to continue with our uh, Season 3 multiverse uh, coverage here. And um, yeah, I think last time we did a video, I think I mentioned that we might be looking at something like Apocalypse or uh, World War Hulk. Um, and uh, I do plan to sort of show those off as well, but really what I'd like to do, um, some of you guys in the comments have been mentioning how much that you... Um, would really like to see different expansion sets because you're not sure whether or not uh, having backed all of them, you know, that you want to keep all of them. You might want to be sort of like sending some on or something like that as well. So, um, yeah, I do plan to uh, show off uh, a range of content from the different sort of expansion sets that were sort of part of that uh, Season 3 campaign. So, um, even though Apocalypse and uh, Hulk are going to be part of that, uh, the one I wanted to do this time, and as you know, my plans sometimes change quite a lot, uh, my my uh, plan this time is to look at something from the Galactus uh, set, and um, I really do would uh, I really do want to do a Galactus a big battle with Galactus as well. But I thought, um, well, there's already uh, footage of that out there, you know. Where I think the Dice Tower did a, a gameplay video a while ago. Uh, during the sort of like the lead up to the campaign and that sort of thing as well um, but I don't know if there's any footage of this uh, Herald mode and I think that was one of the great things about this set is that not only do you get the big Galactus uh, battle but you also get the the Herald mode so you can fight all the different Heralds and um, you get each of the Heralds separately as well so you can you can fight them so I thought this would be something uh, interesting that some of you might like to see you know uh, were you totally sold on just Galactus by itself or would you like to see what some of the other modes bring as well so that's what we're gonna look at today so yeah we're looking at the I think it's officially called the uh, Heralds yeah the Heralds of Galactus uh, fight and I believe um, in a certain way it's kind of modular um, with the way it's set up and you can sort of uh, put different uh, characters into it and that sort of thing as well. I know at least you, there's like a, um, a Silver Surfer, uh, you know, addition as well. You can use him as well. So, um, yeah, let's ha have a look at uh, how it works and we'll go through some of uh, the setup. So I'll just remove these mission cards. These are just the regular missions uh, from the original game. We'll have a look at this big board here. So we'll flip it over just so you can see uh, this special setup here. So it says, um, place the four Herald uh, villain dashboards nearby, uh, each with uh, health based on this uh, little guide here. So we're playing with four heroes, so we're going to be uh, coming in with four health. So three or four players is going to be four health, uh, two players is only three health, uh, health each for the different uh, villains. And then it says, uh, randomly place the four Herald uh, tokens face up each in a different slot on the uh, Herald's dashboard. Uh, the heroes start the game in any two opposite locations. Um, so you can see here we've split up a couple of heroes. We've got Captain America and uh, Captain Canada, Canada down here. Then we've got Captain Russia and Captain uh, Britain up the top there. So um, we've yes, uh, separated those two. Um, so any two opposite locations. Um, and then splitting as you wish between them. So if you had three players, I guess just one one character could uh, go to one spot and then two would be in the other. Uh, then randomly place one Herald in each other location. So we've got that. We've got one, two, three, and four. And we'll go through who those are a little bit later too. Um, then we create a crisis token pool with uh, within reach of the players. So if we're playing on sort of easy mode, uh, we are using 18 crisis tokens, which we are doing. Um, although if you are made of sterner stuff than that, you can try with 15 crisis tokens. And so we've made a little pool over here. Alrighty then, then, then interestingly, you can play uh, this mode where one person controls the, uh, the heralds. And in that case, each uh, starting hero, or sorry, not each starting hero, but the, the starting heroes would have these tokens to distribute amongst them. Uh, all right, so let's have a look here. We have um, this little guide up here. So we're going to be putting the tokens out along here. Um, and it says, uh, fully resolve the master plan card. And I believe you, you go through the, um, the order like this. So even though these arrows are here, this is a little bit misleading. Uh, you got these arrows here. You actually go through the order this way. So, you, you know, logically one, two, three, four. These arrows represent that you slide the uh, the tokens down, so this kind of 
uh, rotates around. Okay, and that's going to take, now that means you can really sort of game the system and if you're working out who's coming up next and who's going to be in which spot and which character's going to be bamming and which all that sort of stuff, um, you could sort of like really try and work out a, a good plan. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep all that in my head, so, but just a, a heads up that this system, uh, you know, for people who like to game the system, that, that might be uh, an option for you. But let's have a look here. First, uh, fully resolve the master plan card as if it were played by this villain. So you go through the movement, uh, I guess the bam and all that sort of stuff, and the special effect by this villain, number one. Then you add a um, thug to this villain's location, and you add a civilian to this villain's location, and then you add a crisis token to this villain's location, and give a crisis token to each hero there. All right. So, uh, all right, everyone got it so far? So good? Okay. So then let's have a look at the special rules. All villain special rules, overflow effects, villainous plots uh, are ignored and replaced by the ones on this dashboard. Okay, we'll come back to that in a sec. Uh, when a master plan card is played face up in the storyline, follow the steps above from one to four. So, yep, we go one, two, three, four, yep. Uh, then move all the Herald tokens one space to the left, going this way. Uh, with the token in slot one, going to the rightmost slot, so it sort of wraps around um, in use. So like if, if you've started to take out some of the Heralds, they sort of uh, slide all the way down to the left. When a villain is defeated, discard their corresponding Herald token from the dashboard, and if necessary, move any remaining tokens to the left to cover any empty slots. Uh, and when a hero is KO'd, no BAM is activated. Instead, draw the master plan card and face it, uh, sorry, add it face down to the storyline. So again, they sort of race through the storyline deck. This is, I believe, the normal mission chart. So um, villains act after every two hero cards. This is essentially uh, going under pressure if we can complete one. If we can complete two, uh, we make them vulnerable to damage. We can start attacking them. And if we can complete all three missions, uh, we each get to draw a card immediately. Now here we have an overflow effect. So this is interesting to note, often these two are the same, where you have a KO and the overflow. But in this case, if one or more overflow, sorry, uh, tokens cannot be added to a location, increase the Herald's plot track, okay, by one. So they've got, yes, they're racing through the deck, but they're also really, this is probably how we're going to lose here, because I imagine the crisis tokens and everything are going to, add to this. So uh, you can see it goes from 0 to 9 tough or 0 to 12 basic. We're going to be playing on basic as we talked about with the crisis pool so uh, we don't want this track hitting 12. All right <laughs> uh, even though we're playing basic I still uh, am <laughs> not uh, super confident. All right villainous plot. The heroes lose if either of these conditions is met. The, um, there are no crisis tokens left in the pool, so if we, if all 18 of those crisis tokens get put out elsewhere, uh, we're in big trouble. And the Herald's plot track reaches 12 in our case, basic level. So there you go. Uh, so that's the fight in a nutshell, like that's what we're looking at here. So we'll pop those down. Um, now one thing, at, at first I really did not like this aspect of it in that uh, it tells you in the rule book when you're setting it up, um, I'm just realizing I think I've left the rule book under a big stack of boxes or something so I won't grab that but uh, essentially it tells you to take all the dashboards and put them out nearby which is like wow that's a lot of table space, <laughs> these things are pretty big right so and all that you use on them because it tells you not to use anything else apart from uh, that health that they tell you to start with a different health than this one, and the BAM effect. So none of this matters, none of this matters, none of this matters. Um, so it's like, oh, that's that's a bit lame. So, But as you can see, um, at least with the mat here, uh, that's actually pretty, pretty doable. You've still got your uh, six locations here, and then if you pop these on either side, it's actually not too unwieldy. Um, but it would be cool if they had like a little card... Um, just with the a space for health, a little picture of them, and maybe like their BAM effect reprinted there, so you just have cards or something, that'd be cool, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, so I thought that was going to be uh, pretty annoying, but it's actually not too bad. So I'm going to set their health up, hopefully I've done this correctly and they've all got four, and I'm not cheating 
putting a stack of three or anything down there, or even worse, a stack of uh, uh, five or more. Um, then let's chuck these tokens out. So I just uh, shoved these out before. I don't even, don't even really know which one is which. I'm going to have to look these up. Um, because they all kind of look like fiery guys to me, but uh, uh, I think that might be the one, the walker one, the air walker or something, the air, the air one. Okay, so he's going to go number one. Then, now this one definitely is the flamey girl, I think. Can you see that? And they have on the back, I'm not sure what, I think this must come into it in the, uh, maybe the Galactus fight or something like that. They've got these sea things. Or, this could be if you wanted to use any other, because you just put the, the dashboards out, I believe, um, I should have double checked this in the rulebook, but I don't see why you couldn't put any other villain of your choice out and just use their BAM effect and their health or you know the the standard health that it tells you to put there so I guess you could kind of use that and that maybe that's what this is for so yeah because they give you two of these so you put the C this would be like villain C if it's kingpin for example and you put the C here and then you know that okay so kingpin is activating I think that's what that's for um, yeah I'm just making that up but I'm pretty sure that <laughs> makes sense <laughs> um, all right so who have we got here this is the Dark side guy. Although I, I always called that guy. See, I'm not a big DC fan. I don't really know much about DC. And so whenever I saw that guy's name pop up in like Facebook feeds and stuff like that, I always thought that guy's name was Darkseed. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. Uh, we've got Dark Side on the board. I know it's not really him. What's his name? Terax or something. But come on, as if that guy is not like the most Dark Side knockoff you've ever seen. Um, and then this guy is, must be the other fire guy. I don't know why they've got... He's chosen two fire guys. I mean, I can see this guy being like an earth elemental. This guy being air. Well, she's clearly flame, and he's flame. It should be one of them. should be a water one, I reckon. Get the Aquaman in here. All right, so um, he's going to go there. So we've got them lined up around the place. Let's, have, let's go through their BAM so we know what they're doing. So air walker is over here. Uh, give a crisis token to a hero in Airwalkers and both adjacent locations. Okay, that's not great. And then deal a damage to one hero in Airwalkers and both adjacent... Oh, wow. Okay, so he's doing a big area spread of crisis tokens and damage. Not cool. All right. Um, then we have uh, Fire Lord. That's this guy at the back here. Uh, in Fire Lord's location, rescue... Oh, interesting. Rescue a civilian... Defeat a thug and deal a damage to the henchman if there's any. Then deal one damage to each other villain and hero there. Wow. Okay, this guy doesn't know what he wants. He's just having a tantrum. He's angry at everyone. All right, so... Um, uh, who, who, yeah, let's have a look at this guy. All right, so what's his name? Terax. There you go, Terax. See? I know my lore. All right. Uh, deal two damage ooh, to one hero in his location and in the opposite location oof wow all right that's a big hit man he hits you so hard there <laughs> person on the other side of the planet feels it all right so uh and then we've got nova uh, add a crisis token to both locations adjacent to her location well, that's not so bad that's not like this guy does it in the same thing but hits everyone uh one hero in, yeah, and does it in, in his location as well, okay, so she's, her bam, yes, we want her in, in, we want her in this position most of the time, I think, all right, <laughs> probably not, <laughs> all right, so, uh, that's all the bad guys, uh, let's have a look at, oh, let's put these back in, so we've got to put these back down as well, all right, done, done, done. Let's have a look at, uh, should we go around? So we'll, yeah, we'll have a look at these uh, threats as well. And just, um, I'm not going to go through the effects, but what I thought would be cool is to pick a location roughly based on each of the planetary locations from the Galactus fight. So you normally have like the different continents uh, in that fight. So I thought we'll go London to represent uh, Europe. And we've got Japan representing Asia. We've got San Francisco representing uh, North America. Um, now we'll come back to these two. We've got um, the Royal Palace in uh, Wakanda representing uh, Africa. 
Now, <laughs> I thought uh, since they feel like uh, Oceania is like such a dangerous wild place, I thought we'll represent that by the savage land. Um, uh, and then I think is that Savage Land supposed to be in like Antarctica or something like that. It's pretty close to Australia anyway, right? And Oceania, New Zealand. Um, and then South America. Now, as far as I could tell, I was going through all the locations. I didn't see any that I thought were technically South America. Apologies if I'm wrong there. But um, and uh, <laughs> please indulge me. But uh, this is a homebrew location. So this is one that I've built as part of the Street Fighter. Um, uh, United homebrew that I've been building so which is pretty much uh, finished now I've got I've, I've done all of them now um, but this is Blanker's location so this is the Amazon River Basin so we're going to use that uh, to represent uh, South America so there you go so let's get back to the cards now so these are the threats for the um, Herald mode so this is this one is coordinated attack so when there's a BAM a hero in this location takes a damage for each villain in this and both adjacent locations. Alright, so a dangerous spot to be standing. Then we've got hiding place. Ooh. Each villain in this and both adjacent locations ignores a damage each hero turn. Okay, so that's annoying. Uh, that's up in Japan. The coordinated attack is in London. Now we've got the oh another coordinated attack in San Francisco. So this is one hero in this location takes a damage for each villain in this and both adjacent locations. Ah, uh, we have down here diversion. Each civilian in this and both adjacent locations requires an extra star to be rescued. Oh, okay, so. Civilians in these three spots currently are annoying. Then over here we have joint forces. Each thug, well there you go, great. <laughs> Each thug in this in the both adjacent locations requires two punches. So that's, I guess, these ones. Okay. And what's this one? Smart trick. When placing crisis tokens in this and both adjacent locations, place one extra. Ooh, that doesn't sound great. That does not sound great at all. No, I don't like that one. I think we've got to get rid of that one pretty quick. Uh, they all sound bad. All right, so that is... That's what we're looking at now. Let's have a quick look. Now, unfortunately... Sorry, guys, I haven't painted these, but... Uh, and to be honest, there's so many so many fan favorites out there of mine that, that I want to paint. I doubt I'm going to get to these guys anytime soon, but just in case you wanted to have a bit of a close-up of the model. Sorry, the lighting's probably not great there, but the, you can get a bit of a detail of Mr. Um, world Puncher there, the guy that punches across the world. Then we've got, that's uh, Terax, and we've got, um, is it Frankie Ray Nova? Not sure what her deal is, but she's flamey. And she looks cool next to Human Torch, so looking forward to teaming these guys up because she can be played as a hero. She's an anti-hero, not a dual mode character. Psh. Anyway, <laughs> uh, fair enough. I like the term anti-hero. I don't care if it's not. Some people are saying, oh, it's not, not accurate, but it's like, pff, it sounds cool and it's catchy. I like it. Dual mode character. It sounds like something come up with a, some, some uh, accountants come up with that. All right. Uh, this is Fire Lord with his twirly stick, Carnival Man. All right, he's pretty cool. And oh, where, where's he going? He goes over here. I was trying to put, <laughs> trying to get him off the board. Yeah, we've already killed one. All right, all right. I'll try not to go on any rants about uh, dual mode because really, it's not a big deal, is it? <laughs> if that's the, if that's the most annoying thing going on in the world today, then uh, that's not too bad. Uh, all right, look at that. It's pretty good. Mr. Walking on Air guy. I mean, if this guy's Air Walker, I think he's muscling in on this. There's already altogether too much fire in this group. I think he's uh, muscling in there. Okay, and he should have like a big air cloud or something. All right. Because, <laughs> you know, that's that's how it is in the comics, right? He's he, he doesn't have any fire in the comics, I'm sure. All right. All right, I'll stop talking about things I don't really know about. And um, let's have a look at, I think we're ready to have a look at the heroes. So I mentioned we've got Captain. So what I want to do uh, theme-wise with this one, since we're defending the world, 
I thought it'd be cool to have all the captains of the different parts of the world. Um, so we've got Captain America, and again, since we're trying out all the new stuff, I thought, uh, what better way to do that than try with the new Captain America? Um, and at some point I'd like to use the other Captain America that's uh, in this new set, the uh, the Falcon uh, version. The set, was it Sam Wilson version? I think I said Sam Smith in a previous video, so <laughs> apologies. I think he's a singer or something, isn't he? Sam Smith. All right, so, um, but yeah, this is Captain America. He's pretty cool, and we're going to be using him with his equipment card. So we've taken his, um, I don't know if you can see them off to the corner there, but we've taken his double star thing out, or double heroic. So we've got his Captain America shield here too. So he can use that to sort of do an adjacent hit, or he can use it to block some damage. Um, and uh, now teaming up with him is Captain Canada here, Guardian. All right, so I figured those two together and um, he does not have any equipment as far as I could tell so he's got his double wilds in there we are playing on uh, easy mode now we've got Captain Russia here this is Red Guardian part of the Winter Guard he's a uh, anti-hero so you can use him as both and we can use him now he has this big shield uh, but I couldn't find any shield I don't know if I didn't look carefully enough, but uh, yeah, I couldn't find any equipment cards for him, so uh, we're just going to have him with his uh, double heroics, uh, sorry, double, I keep saying heroic, double wilds in the, uh, in his set, and then finally we've got another version of Captain Britain here, so and we could have used, I guess, uh, Captain Carter too, couldn't we, but uh, I thought this, this one would be fun to use, so this is um, Psylocke, I think, or Betty Braddock or something, but she's like, in her Captain Britain mode, where she's like part of Excalibur or something, so um, yeah, she's pretty cool. Now she's got a shield, but that doesn't seem to be. I don't think there's any equipment for that, but there is equipment for this cool sh uh, sword here. And this is an interesting one because it says permanent, so this is not one you sort of like flip back and forth. But if it ever does get flipped, you lose it. I guess it breaks or something. Um, so hopefully that's not going to happen. I don't know if there's any effects in their deck that sort of cause that to happen. So hopefully not. Uh, if you performed at least two stars or punches, um, and I, I think that's supposed to be like, you can't be like, oh, well, I've done a punch and a star. It's like two stars or two punches. Though. That's, that's, you're all like, yes, of course, that's how it reads. But like, I'm like, just, yep, yeah, I, <laughs> I think that's what it means. Um, okay. Uh, blah, 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 during your turn. At the end of your turn, you may perform an extra action of the same type. Sweet. So we'll try and, try and, uh, Organize that. We'll see. See what we can do. Um, right. So um, I think we're ready to go. I think so. We've got. Oh, we should go through their cards. One, two, three. So let's see. Uh, he's got a starting hand here. Skill test pilot. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, each time you use the uh, locations end of turn effect. Move yourself. Uh, well, I hope we've <laughs> I'm like, I don't see any X jets or anything around here, so I don't know if that's going to be very useful. If you, if you, well, there you go. If you're playing with this guy, it definitely uh, helps to bring like an X jet or something because that would be quite cool. So I don't think we're going to get any. This, this is essentially just a punch then. Okay. Uh, we've got a move and a star. That's cool. And we're, oh, double star. Okay. Hmm. We'll see what we see what we draw at the beginning of our turn, but that might be good to give to. Um, well, depending on what she's got in her hand, if we can give, but this would be great because then if she could do two heroics, she could do a extra heroic with her sword. Uh, all right, that's cool. Speaking of Captain Britain, I don't think she's got any uh, starting hand cards. So what does she get? She got a punch. She's got a star. Well, there you go. She, we could have him move and star, and she could move and star as well. Um, and then she's got a uh, wild there. Okay. I like the art on these cards. They're always so good. All right, so that's hers. Uh, Captain America. What's he got? So he's, he does have a new starting hand card. So his is, uh, I can do this all day. As long as this card is face up in the storyline, you may uh, gain a punch or star token. Oh, when recovering from being KO'd. All right. Maybe we volunteer this guy to get hit all the time. Um... Yep, okay. He's got a pretty standard hand there apart from that, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. 
And last but not least, we've got Captain Canada here. And Captain Poutine. Um, one, two. Oh, there you go. He's got his double wilds. He's like, I don't want to be left out. <laughs> Where's my equipment card? All right. So he's brought his own. Okay. Well, I think we can get down to the table and uh, see how long we last against these heralds. All right. Let's uh, let's do it. Okay. So speaking of which, I think it's their turn. Oh, how are things going to go here? Oh, they're not. Oh, interesting. Okay. Unexpected moves. Oh. Uh, unexpected moves. Oh, okay, all right. I was like, wait, do they all ban now? Okay, no. So we read. So we read this part first. So this is. So who it is? It's uh, Airwalker. No, this guy, Airwalker. Oh, that's not good. I think he's about to hit a bunch of us. So he stays where he is and then bams, and his bam is lame. Give a crisis token, yeah, look at this. So he gives a crisis token to, to the, these two. So each hero, uh-huh, then deal the damage to, yeah, so luckily there's no one over here, but uh, then these two are gonna take a hit. Well, I guess it's all right, Captain America can, he gets KO'd, that's all right, that's okay. If he can get that card down, right? If he doesn't get hit by something else now. All right, and then Guardian. Well, I guess we'll lose maybe this one. Okay. Uh, I could have blocked that, I guess, with this, but nah, not yet, I guess. All right. What do, what do I need to do to recharge this? At the beginning of your turn, discard an action token. Mm. All right. <clears throat> bam, 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 bam. So he's done his bam, so he, he didn't move, he did his bam. Uh, then it says, move the villains in slot two, three, and four clockwise one location. I guess that's everyone else. So Terax is going here, Frankie Ray's going here, and Fire Lord is going here. Okay, but they're not bamming. All right. Then, uh, oh, fully resolve the master plan card as if it were played by this villain. Oh, they drop a lot of things because, so he drops, oh no, we're going to get some overflow here already. He drops one civilian, sorry, two civilians on either side of him, one thug in the middle. Then, oh, okay, luckily, well, let's have a look. I don't know if we're lucky, but uh, Frankie Ray is going to put a thug down in her spot. Then, Terax, oh, lucky. All right, because if we got one more over here, that would have made the track go up. Okay. Then add a crisis token to this villain's location. Oh, and give one to each hero there. Oh man. Okay. So these two have two crisis tokens, and he's got one. Oh, sorry, the location's got one as well. That's not good. Okay. Well, man, we just got one, two, three, four crisis, five crisis locate, uh, five crisis tokens out. In one turn. Oh, where's that one about where crisis tokens go down? Is this it? When placing crisis tokens and in both... Oh, no. Okay, we've got to put another crisis token out because of this thing. Oh, it's... Ah, oh, yuck. Okay. Okay, okay. So. Uh, is that it? Add a crisis token to this villain's location and give a crisis token to each hero there. Yep, okay. Ah, now hold on. Then move all the thingies, so we move these now. Yep, okay, so. There we go. 
Red Guardian. So Red Guardian needs to draw a card. He just drew a uh, wild. I think. Hmm, I think I'm going to play this to try and give Captain Britain her like use of her sword. So let's try that. So let's put. Um, let's put at least one of these down. Maybe rescue two civilians. Yeah, okay. Now, what can she do? So as long as I play two stars, which I can, or perform at least two stars, so I could do... I could do a punch. Interesting. I could play the, the star, but I'm thinking if I play the star, that's going to be three heroic actions. And... Although, you know what? what I was thinking is, okay, so I could do the three, I could do those two, finish off that location, then I could move in and say punch one of these guys, but, and then I would have an extra star to put a star on here, so I would have completed this and worked on that, but what I think I want to do I've got to draw a card, don't I? I haven't been hit by anything. Sorry. Okay, I've got an extra punch. Move and punch. What if I did this instead? So I could move and star, so I could like rescue another civilian, plus do two of these, and then I'd get to do another star at the end and complete that. That's not too bad. Yeah. Question is, what do I want to... Do I want to head this way or this way? With her. Uh, I want to get rid of this. But I guess these guys are going to have to deal with that. So if they're coming this way, maybe I should go that way. What's this one? This is end of turn. I'm looking for stars, and I won't have stars in my deck. What's this one here? This one of the hero. No, none of those are that useful. So I tell you what, I will go... Uh... I think I want to go this way, because these guys all seem to be coming this way, so... I mean, this guy's pretty scary, but at least it's not too bad. Alright, so, yeah, let's go that way. Ah, so, let's now I've got to remind myself what I was doing again. Okay, so I think I'm going this way. Um, now, do I want to punch or do I want to... I think I want to star. If I can rescue a bunch of these civilians, that's good. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, each villain in this and both the choose So I'll put, um... Let's... Let's go this way. Let's put two stars down here and use the last heroic to rescue this character here. Then I will, at the end of my turn, if you performed 
at least two or two stars or two punch actions during your turn. At the end of your turn, you may perform an extra action of the same type. So I'll do that. That clears that one. Now my question is, that's end of turn, right? So is that actually technically happening, like, say I've done that and this was something I could do, do I still get to trigger that or is... Yeah, I don't know. You know how normally, like, if you land on a like an X-Jet or something and you trigger the end of turn effect, you get to go over here, but you don't get to do the action of the place. So I don't know if that, which one, if that counts or not. But anyway, it's a moot point at this point. But we have got one of the threats down, so that's good. Hopefully they don't have a thing that brings threats back into play. That would be lame. Um, <clears throat> but at least we've got one counting towards the mission, so that's, that's good. So that was Captain Britain. So, she's given a move and a heroic. Who's up next? It's Cap. Alright, now Cap, I think we said we wanted you to... He's got a move and a punch. But I think we said we wanted him to do this thing where he can get tokens when he gets KO'd. Because I feel like that's, getting, that's coming up. Um, so we could move and put a star on this one. I feel like we've got to get rid of this pretty quick, right? Uh, and then it's these locations that are affected by the tough civilians. So I think what we'll do is uh, technically he could probably make it to here and then make use of this, but I don't think he's got any. Uh, he doesn't have any heroics, so he's going to come this way. Uh, and he is going to... No, he's not going to rescue. What's he doing? He's going to put a star down on this thing. There we go. Hopefully we can start working on this as quick as possible. Um, now he could move again. Um, does he need to? This is all filling up with a lot of characters. Where's she, what's happening? So she's going to be the main player. Oh, uh, you know what I needed to do was actually... Uh, where's he? He's, uh, he's here. He's adding a civilian here. So that's going to raise the track. Can we afford that? <coughs> I really think this crisis token thing is a bit of a problem too. So maybe we can afford... Well, you know what, I've moved myself here, so I can start working on it. It's Being here isn't really going to help. Next turn. So, maybe just rescuing one could potentially stop an overflow and stop a stop the track going up by one. Oh, I've just realised I haven't actually put the little... Silver cube. I thought I put silver on the, on the cube there uh, to represent Silver Surfer. Sort of working in the background there. Alright, so. Uh, yeah, let's rescue from here instead before he steps in. Then he's going to step in here. I don't know. Mmm. Second guessing myself here. Okay. So. <laughs> I've probably. Probably completely messed up. They're probably going to do something that will throw all my plans out anyway. Alright, so let's have a look at what is. Oh, let me just check. I think I might have not. Yeah, I had a feeling. I don't think I've shuffled this too. So I'm going to... Sorry, guys. I just feel like I haven't shuffled this deck. I'm pretty sure I just took it straight out and put it straight down on the table. So I don't want to just show you the same cards over and over again. All right. So apologies if that seems like cheating. <laughs> I guess it is cheating, but... Um, I just want to try and make sure we've got different things happening. Hopefully this is worse for us, so it makes you, makes you feel better. <laughs> okay, what have we got? Uh, moving five. Who is it? It's Frankie Ray. So she's going to end up over here. One, two, three, four, five. Then she's going to bam. What does she do with her bam? She puts a add a crisis token to both locations adjacent to her. So she adds. Here. Okay. Increase the Herald's plot track by one. Oh, just nothing. 
Nothing we can do about that. Then heroes can prevent this effect if they all discard a card from their hand. Whoa! No, I'm not going to do that at this stage. Alright, so then she puts out two thugs in this spot. Boy, oh boy, it's filling up quick. Oof. And then, what's she doing? She's then uh, putting one of these out in Terax's location. And then one of these, one of the thugs. No, sorry, it's a thug in Terex's location. And a civilian in Fire Lord's location. There you go, so we've, we've blocked at least one of those. Oof. And then Airwalker. Oh no, Airwalker's going to put a ton of these down. My goodness. Where does he put them? To this villain's location and give one to each hero there. So he puts two in here and he gives one to, one more to Captain America. Oh boy. You can tell there's some big hit coming up with <laughs> heroes with crisis tokens, right? Okay. <coughs> Yikes. Um, Alright, we've got to get rid of this. Got to get rid of that. So speaking of which... Guardian. Alright Guardian, well we've got a double wild, I think that's probably our best bet here is just to come and drop as many of these tokens down as we can. This is a um, special effect card but it's all about punching so I don't think we want to do this yet. Punch twice, punch against up to two different targets in your location. Yeah, we don't want to do that yet. Um, so, yeah, alright, we'll do the double wild. Oof. So we'll move in, put two stars down. Now the problem is, do we have anyone who can get here in time and do that as well? I think we're going to have to rely on... Guardian can make it, I think. Ooh, now look at this. Guardian's got one of these Winter Guard cards, similar to Alpha Flight, where it's um, not very useful if you're not using the rest of the Winter Guard. It says, each hero with a Winter Guard card in the storyline draws a card. So I guess it's like a healing one for Guardian because he can do it himself, I guess. Um, yeah, I think we're going to play this one. Alright, so now this is a bit wasteful, but I'm going to go one, two, with one of the wilds and the movement. I'm going to use one star to complete that, and I've got one more wild which I will use to rescue, I think I'll rescue this guy on the way through. Okay, so we got rid of that. That's another mission complete. Still uh, very scared <laughs> about this whole thing. Uh, you may search your deck for any one card, then shuffle your deck and place it on top. Okay, well, let's have a look. What have we got in here? Move some punches. Oh, I was like, I was, I thought, oh well, we've already used our, um, we've already used our double wild right, but that was Guardian actually, so Red Guardian, and look, it was on top anyway, so I was looking for the double wild, so I think I'll put that. This one, KGB training, let's have a look at that. I'll just let you have a look at it. Okay, what does that say? Look at as many cards from the top of the master plan deck equal to the number of civilians you rescued this turn. It's not bad, because we are sort of like looking to rescue a bunch of civilians at the moment. But I think I'd rather have my double wild. Hmm. Yeah. Plus it's fun not knowing what's happening with these guys. I'll just put the double wild there, then I've got to shuffle these then. Okay. Do 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 do. Is anyone else supposed to take any damage there or anything? Ray doesn't damage. Alright, so I'll put that back on top. Alright. It is Captain Britain's turn, and then we're on to the bad guys. So she's gonna draw a card. Okay, what are we trying to do? We're trying to race through these things and rescue a bunch of people. So I mean, yeah, that's not bad. 
We don't want this one where they can hide. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. We're going to play, I've got two double punches, sorry, two move and punch. I've got a wild, but I'm going to play this move and heroic. Or am I? Maybe I save the move and heroic. I can play the wild instead. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Well, I don't know about this, because if I play, um, it says if you do two heroic actions or two punch actions, but if I use a heroic, if I use a wild action as a heroic, does that count? I don't know, I'm not going to risk it, so I'm going to do that. She's going to move here. She's going to use the two stars to complete that mission. Uh, that's pretty good. She's pretty, pretty useful. Um, then, um, that's that one. All right. That's that one there. Okay. Then at the end of her turn, she's going to rescue this little guy. So it's going to rescue three more and complete one of these. Uh, and she's also potentially going to use this. What does Japan say? If there are at least two empty spots, you may add, oh, You gain a token, but I'd have to add two there. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, now I can move away. No, I was going to say I could, because I've actually, oh, well, no, I can't move away. If I wanted to move away, what I would need to do is say move here and rescue this guy instead. But I think I'll just, um, hmm. I think I'll keep her where she is so that maybe she can head over here and start to try and thin that down with some of her punches in the meantime while she's waiting for the rest of the stuff to be completed. Alright, so that means bad guys are going. Uh oh, what are they up to? Another special effect. Distracting the heroes, that doesn't sound great, so who is oh sorry we didn't we never moved this did we? So that's supposed to go down, down, down. Okay. Uh so this is gonna be Terex. He's gonna move three. Woo! Oh no. Oh, oh, that's alright, he bams. But what's his bam do? Oh, it's gonna hit her, she gets hit for two. Alright, well, let's let's put that on top. He gets hit for two, because he hits in his location and the opposite. <coughs> um, that's right, isn't it? Deal two damage to one hero here and then in the opposite. Yep, okay. Then, uh, increase the Herald's plot track by one. Heroes can prevent this. Oh, that's that. Did we have a distracting one before? Is that what that was? Oh, yeah, it was two. Was that a three? That was a five. Okay. Well, the shuffling hasn't really helped. Sorry, guys, I keep showing you the same cards. Um, from their deck to the bottom of their deck. Uh, and then, let's go, one of these. One, two. So he's going to put one here and one over here. Then, uh, Fire Lord guy, he's going to want to put one down. That increases that. And then... A walker, he's going to want to put a civilian down. He does that over here. Okay, and then... Um, why is it filling up so quick? This thing is going to race up, because they're going to do it every time. Um, and who's next? Uh, this guy, her. Alright, so she puts one down. Oh man, there's not many of these left either. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, and then this all shuffles. There we go. Okay. So, who's up next? It is Captain America. All right, Captain America. You have drawn a double punch. 
which is not really what we're after. We want to be completing this stuff, but at least we can use the punches. Um, I really, I really want to get rid of one of these. Um, hmm. So who's coming up after him? It's going to be Guardian. So Guardian's over here. So our best bet is probably to work on this one. So I could move here, place a star down. Then I could move... That's one, two... Yeah, either way the punching isn't going to work, is it? No, I'd have to go for one of these locations instead, and then I could do the punching. Is that better, maybe? Maybe I don't worry about these as much. Maybe I go over here, because then I can at least punch this guy. I can put the star on here. Yeah. Then Guardian can head over there. So he's moved, punched. I could move again. I could move back here. But these guys are all coming through. I don't really want them to land on me. But I could search my deck for a better card. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, the, I've got this punch one, but with these thugs being extra tough, that's not super useful. Punch, and then if this is used to hit a thug, then you can punch again, and then you can do it again. Do a whole bunch of punches. It is two punches, though, that could be useful against a, a villain. But I think this one where we just, everyone gets a heroic might be good. I don't know. Alright. No, not a heroic, a wild. I keep doing that, don't I? Alright, so he's going to end there. Then Guardian is going to... Is that worth... Oh, I've already done it, haven't I? I've already looked at the cards, so... Alright. Guardian is going to... He's got to draw a card. So he gets a... Uh, gain a wild token for each face-up alpha flight card in the storyline. So that's like a move in a wild. <coughs> no. do this one. I move and heroic. Head over this way, put a heroic token down and I can't punch that guy. I can move twice though. I can put the thing down there and I can move here and punch this guy. There you go. Okay and then, uh, no it's not his turn. going to... it's this guy, yeah, Red Guardian. So we, yeah, we knew he was going to draw that actually, didn't we? Yes, okay. Alright Red Guardian, we need, to ha we need you to have a good turn here. So, if you play this, you can move to... oh yeah, this is good. So, you can move and put one star down. And then you can 
So he can move, put one star, that completes that. And actually before he moves, um, that clears that. So we've completed one mission, but before he moves he's got two more wilds here and I think we're going to use those to do two rescues. If there's at least one other hero in this location, oh man, if only we'd left Captain America there, we could have got a token out of that. Lame. Okay, so, uh, that, let's slide those down there. Okay. I don't like it. This is scary. Okay, we're just going to start getting rid of these guys, don't we? Let's see if we can... I mean, there's... Well, they put out six in one go before, so this could happen again. Oh, it's another distracting the enemies. Ugh. Alright. So, he's going to move... Two, one, two. He's going to put one token... Wait, who did I... No, that was Airwalker did that crazy thing. This is Firelord. What does he do? Firelord's location. Rescue a civilian. Oh, he did it for us. Is that right? Hold on. Move to... Wait, where was he? He was here? I think he was here. Two. Rescue a civilian. Defeat a thug. There's no thug there. Deal a damage to the henchman, if any, then deal a damage to each villain and hero there. So, Red Guardian is going to take a hit. I guess we just lose the test pilot, because the other ones are better. Oh, okay. Uh, so I was already to put these out, but he doesn't do that. Okay. And he's made... Oh, wow, okay, so he's made them... Vulnerable. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Uh, <laughs> what a legend. Alright. Uh, so that's cleared. And then he's done this one. So we'll pop these over here. Wow. Is that right? Am I using the right thing? Maybe are we, am I supposed to use an alternate version of him? I think, I think this is right. Okay. Cool. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves, there's some bad stuff could happen after this. So he's done his BAM, he did a damage to Guardian, yes. Okay, increase the Herald's plot track by one, yes. Then, uh, heroes can prevent this, no, don't want to do that yet. He's going to put two thugs out, Ooh, running out of thugs. Put two thugs out, and he is going to uh, then have Airwalker. He is going to put a thug. Thug goes here, and she puts a. We got lucky there. She puts a thing out. This is looking bad. Uh, then um, old mate, he puts a crisis token down in his spot. Yeah. Okay. We're looking good. Okay. So, and then this all shifts down. So this goes up here. So now we're back to Airwalker. That was that bad turn. When Airwalker gets a turn, that's bad. So maybe, can we beat him up? Oh, we've got to beat someone up. All right, so, but we've also got to be mindful that wherever Fire Lord is now, he's going to be dropping, he's going to be adding at least two, because he'll give one, and then he'll give one to the, one to the, uh, to the heroes there. So we don't want to end up there unless we can kill him. Uh, unless he moves, he might do some sort of crazy move. Um, and he's about to have the active turn, otherwise it's going to be Frankie Ray. If we can take him out, that'd be great. Can I do four damage to him? I've only got two heroes to do it with though. Who's up? Red Guardian. So it's uh, she's all the way over here. What have we given? Oh, we've given her this. So we're going to draw. Oh. 
Okay. I don't know about this. How's this going to work? All right. And then who's after her? Captain America. So we can beat him up. Yeah, I think we could try and take him down. I don't like him. Airwalker's a jerk. Alright, so I'm going to play that. She's going to move one, then use a wild to move again. Then she's going to unleash two punches on him. Uh, so this guy. Two punches. And then... Now, technically, she's done two punch actions. If you performed at least two punch actions during your turn, you may perform an extra action of the same type. So does she get to punch again? I don't know. Like, the wild action is the action, but it counts as a punch action, though, right? Alright, this could be cheating, but I'm going to allow it. She's got a magic purple sword. I think she should be able to do some cool stuff with it. So she's going to uh, defeat a thug, I think. Yes. There we go. Oh, thug there. Alright. Okay. And then she can search her deck for a card, I guess. Put a good one on top. Uh, attach a stun token to a villain, that's not bad. Uh, master Telepathic Fighter. Uh, next villain turn, if the Master Plan card has a BAM on it, immediately after the villain movement you can punch in your location. Mm. So if they move to us we can punch them, I guess. Um, but I think I want to have a move and a punch. I'm going to put the move and a punch at the top. I'm going to... All these other ones seem situationally good, so just hopefully they show up at the right time. Uh, <clears throat> we've got the move and punch at the top there. Captain America, you're going to get to have a turn, and then it is the bad guys, because they're under pressure. Oh, now we did... We knew that we were going to be able to give wilds to everyone. Now that's interesting too, isn't it? Because I could just do a straight up double punch here. And that's going to give me the ability to take all three of these guys out. I could even, like, I, I could do that, or I could move in and punch him. Um, but. Even um, yeah, I could take out one of these just to stop the overflow happening. But this would still allow me to finish him off, but then give everybody a wild, which could be useful for <coughs> catching up with these guys and doing some sort of damage to them. So maybe I'll do that. I think that's better in the long run because it gives everybody give each other oh no hold on each other hero may immediately wild oh where are they oh I still think that's pretty good though, isn't it? Because then I can do... Punch on him... Yeah, I think that's the best play. So let's go... Alright, gotta think about this carefully. So I do one punch on him with this punch here from Captain Britain. Then I'm gonna step in and um, 
do a single punch on, or do I do it on Terax or do I try and stop the overflow? I guess as, if there's less of these guys going, the overflow is not going to be as big a deal. There is a lot of one, two, three, or one, two, three, yeah. If they all land on those spots. They could go up by quite a bit. No, I'm gonna take I'm gonna do the wound on Terax. I'm gonna see see what we can do. Alright. Um so that's so he's gonna he's done one punch, he's moved in and he's uh punched Terax. Then each other hero may punch, so she, or may wild, so she's going to uh, finish off Airwalker. Uh, there we go, so Airwalker goes over here. Alright, get out of here, Airwalker. Alright, so he is here, so they all slide down, so Frankie Ray's going next. Uh, we'll just put this over here, put it on his sheet there um, and then that means Red Guardian can do a damage to Fire Lord as well so now Fire Lord and Terax have three health each and Frankie Ray has four okay oof but there's five there's only five of these tokens left alright so um, right now it is Ooh, now the other thing is, I could throw the shield and do a damage to Terax. Before I left, I could throw the shield and do a punch in an adjacent location. I think I'm going to do it. There we go. Yeah, so he throws the shield, then he runs in and catches it. Alright, so, put those over there, that's been triggered. It's now the bad guy's turn, I think, is what's happening. Yes, alright. Well, I feel like we've done a pretty good show. We've got at least one of them taken down. So, no matter what happens next, uh, we got one of them. Alright, how close can we get to the rest? Okay, so, uh-oh, fear rises. So, who's moving one? It's uh, Frankie Ray. So, she's over here. Uh, not great, considering who's going next. They're a bit far away, aren't they? Although we don't have to go for her, do we? We can go for whoever we want. Okay. Each hero with one or more crisis tokens takes damage. Uh-oh. Okay, so hold on. Guardian takes a damage. Hmm. Where is Guardian? Guardian's over there. Okay. So, yeah, so for each face up, I think I want to keep this one, so I'm going to put this at the bottom. Then, uh, who else is taking a damage? Uh, Captain America is taking a damage. I can't block it with my shield anymore. Has he got anything else down? What's that one over there? Oh, I totally forgot to be using this. What's this thing? Oh, it's if he gets KO'd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, where are you, Captain America? You're... They're going to move before you... get to go again. So you're probably going to need a move and a punch rather than a double punch, I guess. Although a double punch would be good. If someone could give you a... move and a punch, and we don't know that she can do it. Oh, what do I want to do? I think I've given her a move and a punch there, haven't I? Yeah, I think I have. So we can give him a move. Hopefully he can get... Whoopsie. Let's go go under the bottom there. So we'll keep the double punch. All right. Move and punch goes underneath. Okay. Double punch there. That's good. All right. So they've both taken a hit. No one else has crisis tokens. It doesn't say to remove the crisis token. So they're just going get, to keep getting hit every time this sphere rise, rises thing comes up. Um... Did she do her action? What was her action? I don't think she did. She's supposed to uh, add a crisis token to both locations adjacent. So 
So she does this. Oh no, it's looking bad. It's looking bad, and then she puts a thug in these two locations. So this goes up to six. Yikes. Okay. No, she doesn't. Oh, yeah, she does. Yeah, she does that. And then, uh oh. Then Terax, he's going to push it up one. Uh oh. And, um,. Fire Lord. Ah, oh, thank goodness. All right, that doesn't overflow. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I think that's all correct. Okay, so. Holy moly, is it Guardian's turn? It is, isn't it? Captain Mario Guardian. Oh, he's got a double punch as well. Well, that's pretty handy. So what I was going to do, I was going to play this, because this lets us punch against up to two different targets. Plus, I still get... A move. A punch. But who's coming up after him? It's going to be this guy. He's going to let me punch. He's got three health. He's got three health, so we're only going to be able to take out one of them here. Um, hmm. Uh, do I want to give a double punch? I give a double punch to him. What can he do? He's got a star. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I need a double punch from Guardian because he's going to be able to finish him off without it, right? Because either way he's going to get to do a punch. And then I give a punch here. So I think if I do this, I can move in. I can punch against up to two different targets. So I can do a punch and a punch on him. Uh, that seems right. And then I'm going to... Um, uh, then I'm going to... So moved in, punched against up to two different targets. Then I can do one more punch. So I'll punch him. Four, one. Uh, then I'm ending my turn in this location with at least one other hero. So I can technically do... Oh, and I was supposed to slide these guys down this way, wasn't I? Okay. Oh, boy. Got to get Frankie Gray. Can we take her out? She's going to be the problem because she's going to drop more of these than we can handle, I think. Um, uh, let's, let's see. Okay, well, what am I going to... Before I look at this, what am I going to take here? I don't want a star. I either want a move or a punch. What's he got? He's got a bunch of punchy things here, so I'm going to take a move just so I can... Maybe get where I need to go. He's got this, this could be a move. Maybe I'll take a punch. Ooh, I don't know. I've got lots of punches here. Maybe I'll take a move. Oh, I don't know. Okay, what's he got? Oh no, that's not for him. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I look at that, it's him. Alright, but he's got double punches here, so I'm going to take a move. <coughs> Unless he takes another hit there, but um, yeah, alright. So, uh, i got a move and a punch, I think. Alright. Well. Double punch. Well, instead of move, I think I'll just double punch. So I'll punch here, finish him off. That's Fire Lord out of here. Let's 
that's another thug removed. Uh, because I could come down here, but this is not too bad. Um, and then I can stay here, and because these two are here, I can get... Uh, I might take a punch with him. Move with one of them and a punch with the other. Yeah, I'm probably going to need the opposite for these guys, right? Uh-oh. Um, Alright, so that was the Winter Guardian. Now it's their turn. So we've removed Fire Lord from the equation. So we know this is going up at least once. Could be going up a little bit more too. Alright, um Where am I putting this? Uh, over here. Okay. Oh okay, distracting the heroes again. Oh he's going oh that's not good. Oh, no, that's not too bad, because, I mean, that's bad, we lose that. Would have liked that double punch. Um, but he does get to, when he gets KO'd, what happens now? As long as this, uh, you may gain a, oh, you can gain a punch when he wakes up, so that's cool. So he gets KO'd, but they do get to put one of these down. Um, then... He's putting a thug here and an overflow over here. And she puts an overflow over here. So this would have been, we would have lost if we were playing on tough. Okay, but we're still very close there, aren't we? All right. Uh, yeah, because she puts a thug down. Okay. So we've got to get rid of her now, I think. Guardian's too far away. Oh, no. One, two, oh no, look at all these heroics coming up now. <gasps> Ooh, this is all right. Okay, hold on a second here. All right, so. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, he's giving himself a movement. Interesting. So I'm going to get to have another punch token. I've been given a move and a punch here. So can, what can I do with this? What can I do with this? Can I take her out? I think I can take her out with this card. Alright, so just keep banging the shield off her. Let's have a look. Whew. Because that would then help Guardian against Terax as well. Okay, so let's... Because he's got... Alright, Captain America, can we do this? We've got a move and a punch, plus a punch, plus a punch. That's three punches, plus the punch for waking up. So, Captain America is going to step in with the move. Punch, punch, punch. I think I already put it in there. Punch. That's four punches. We got her. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Okay, there we go. So she goes down, mission accomplished. Alright, uh, and um, yeah, she's gone. Alright, so there we go. And, oh, that was pretty cool. Captain America, yes. Alright, and uh, now Captain Canada. Alright, here we go. So he's giving himself a movement. So could we ta I think we can do it. Yes, I think we got him. I don't even think they're going to get another turn. I mean, <laughs> it could have been some rampant cheating going on, but uh, I think we I think we've got this. All right, we were playing on easy mode. We had our some of the easy mode cards and then we had equipment and we were playing with the basic thing, but there you go. You can at least see. So yeah, we we actually hit 15 a while ago too. So we hit both thresholds. We we would have run out of crisis tokens if we were playing on tough and we would have run out and we would have uh, been very close to hitting this. I think that might have happened this turn if we if we hadn't taken them both out. All right, so I'm going to draw a card. We've got a move and a punch, but we don't need it. Let's use the double punch, and that is. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I was going to say, hey, wait, wait, how am I moving? <laughs> but we're going to use this. So there we go. I mean, we could have played that down, and that would have been enough too, because he's only got two health. Um, but there you go. All right, Captain Canada for the win. Here he goes and knocks Darkseid on his backside. Oh, it's like a rhyme. All right, and uh, down he goes. <laughs> well, 
the final Herald defeated. Okay, sorry for the mix-up, folks. Um, I believe uh, where I made the mistake was um, around about here. I think I was supposed to uh, go after the villains, and uh, I think I was supposed to go with uh, Captain Britain, but I skipped ahead, skipped her turn, and went with Captain America, and then Captain America and I think Guardian sort of teamed up against... Um, uh, who was it? Um, uh, Frankie Ray or something like that. So um, I have sort of reset things up. I think this is roughly how it was. Uh, I've tried to reshuffle that. Uh, I've tried to put their hands back because I, I caught it up as I was packing up and I saw, oh no, I've got them in the wrong order. And then I realized what had happened. So I went back and looked it up. So I think I've tried to set these up with what their hands were. These, Who knows what's in there though. I think this is the tokens I had, and I think I've got the the tokens out there. So we're going to try and do like a redo and see what would have happened if if I'd played properly. So uh, with that said, I think it is Captain Britain's turn, and uh, let's have a look what she's got. She's got a boob and a punch. Okay, so that's handy now. Uh, oh, this is cool. So she can. Because what, what we were trying to do is definitely get rid of her, right? Can we take... Because that was the problem. If we, if we can get rid of her, then maybe we can take him out. So, um, okay. So she goes one, two. She can do two damage. Uh, that's two. Plus she can... Uh, I guess she can do an extra damage at the end of her turn. Because uh, she's used two. Um, so let's do that. Um, she needs to do one more damage to Frankie Ray there, I guess. Then Captain America. Now, what I've done is I've drawn, I think he was KO'd or something at this point, so we woke him up, and I think this is what he would have had. This was his hand uh, here. So. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. So uh, he can punch, and he can also because he's got this move and punch here. So I'm wondering if we. I was thinking, okay, well we'll just jump him in. He can jump in and he can beat her up. But I'm worried about the overflow and stuff here. So um, why doesn't he? Because we've got a double punch here. So this says. Punch, if this is used to defeat a thug, you may punch in an adjacent location. Then if this is used to defeat a thug, you may punch again. So he could potentially... Um, we could help out over there in case that's a problem. So he could... We could move... Um... Hmm. Although we're getting tricky here. Can he still finish off Frankie Ray? Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, he could punch, use this double, use this punch as like an extra punch. So that's two punches to take out a thug. That's going to let him do another damage over here, I guess. Um, or should we give him a wild? Now I'm just wondering, do we give... So we don't need to use all that. Maybe we can save that if we need to do more damage to him, because we only need to do one damage here, right? So maybe we save that and we just do this. We don't get tricky. Don't get tricky, we just go in, and that could maybe set up the next character with a bit better stuff, maybe. Mm. Okay, so that's going to be uh, one, two, so he moves in, he can do a punch, that'll take her out. Uh, yep, done. Uh, her little goes there now we're just dealing with Terax so 
Moved in, did a punch. Um, he can't really rescue anyone. I guess he's got his punch token. So he could use a double punch and yeah, he could still he could still punch one of these guys. Yeah, all right, that's cool. I can't remember if I've set this up correctly or not too, but yeah, there we go. So I think that's okay. So, all right, so they still managed to get it done. She moved in, did two punches, three punches because of her sword. He then moved in, did a punch, and he's used his action and another one to, to do that. So now hopefully they've given our friends, and I think what I tried to do was put the card that we knew was coming up next for um, uh, thingy up there, and then and then it's shuffled for whoever knows next. So I think he went one, two. So he's going to bam. That's going to cause uh, he does he does it to one character, doesn't he? Um, Hmm. Let's see. We could. This is a good card, though. I don't want to lose these. And she, maybe if we give her a bigger hand, we can probably afford to lose one character there. Um. Where's Guardian? What's happening here? Oh, each hero in a thing with a crisis token takes a damage. No crisis tokens there, I don't think. I think I've set that up right, but these guys, I can't remember if this was here, so I've put this one here. I don't know if that's correct, but uh, he's definitely going to take a hit there. Oh, yeah, since he's there. So that's one. I'm going to put one here. Who's next? Ugh. Oh man, it's lame when you make mistakes because then it's hard to sort of work out what was happening. Um, I think... We've got Winter Soldier's going to lose one too. Does he keep his... Hmm. What if he needs... Oh, he's going to need movement. What's he got? Well, she's got, he's, he's given thingy, that's going to be his turn. Maybe we're going to need movement, so I'll keep the wild and put that one away. Okay, and then... Yeah. So he took a hit. Do we take a hit with her so we give her more cards, more options? That might be worthwhile, considering she's got this too. So we'll take one more hit. Alright, what happens next? Do they have enough to get there? Alright. Is it Guardian's turn? Hold on, no, we've got to finish this off. So we did the hits. We've got to put two civilians out. Oh, they're lucky, 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 lucky. Okay, because otherwise this would go up. All right. Oh. It's a movement. That's two movement. That's not what he needs. Can he give... Uh, if he gives a... So a move... I could stay here and get some tokens. Cause he's probably coming around. Um do I give a do I give a wild token to Red Guardian? That's gonna give him two of these. One, two, three. Or well, one, two, three, but then nothing to punch with. Did he have a punch token? Or did I spend that? Maybe I spent that punch token. Hmm. So what am I going to do with this? Wait, did I just draw one card or should he have a whole bunch? He should have a whole bunch, right? Did he get the KO? He did two. One, two, he should have three more. Ah, sorry. What do we got here? 
That. Oh, Alpha Flight, gain a wild. So that gives him a wild. Oh, hold on a second. So instead of playing that, move, move, give himself a wild. No, that doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Um, do I give him? I don't think he can get there because even if he, let's say he drew a move and a punch. So if I give him the wild, I give him a move and I give him a punch. That's not enough, is it? Hmm. I guess it's better than nothing. Or should I give the punch? Should I give the wild to the next person? Uh, do we think he can? I don't think he can make it. Maybe I'll just move. Yeah, uh, I'll give him a. Ugh. I'll give the token to. No, oh, she's she's KO'd, so I can't give it to her. Give it to Captain America, maybe, just in case. All right. So what can he do? He can do a move in a wild. I guess I stay there and gain a punch token. Here we go. I do have, oh, hold on, I've got this move token. Wait a second. One, two, three, plus that I could do a punch on him. If I use this card. Yeah, let's do that. I've got a punch. So I'll put this back. I've got this move token, so that's two movement. This is a movement, and then I can gain a wild token, and I can use that to punch him, so that's what I'll do. I'll fly over here. Captain Canada! And do a punch. That's one wound. All right, now, can, <laughs> can Guardian pull off anything like that? Oh, you've got a move and a punch. I don't think that's going to... I don't think it's going to do it, so I've got to put this back as well. Um... Well, let's do a move and a punch for the next person. He can move twice and punch. Maybe he should go over here and just punch to reduce the overflow. There we go. Alright, Red Guardian. Now, this says you may gain a move token if you've got... No, he doesn't have the right things in there. Okay. What's Mr. Mr. Man up to? Oh, this is... Oh, am I going to be able to take him out? Is this going to be... One win, one loss, or is it going to be two wins? Let's see, he's moving one, bamming. Well, good thing we didn't end up here. Bamming. Increase the Herald plot track by one. Oh. And then he's. We can prevent that by taking hits, but I don't think I'll, I don't think I've got the cards to do that. So. Going up by one, then he puts out civilians. One here. Oh, and one here. That's an overflow. Ah! Uh oh. oh we're one away. <laughs> we're one away. Uh oh. And we've only got one card left, too. Okay. We're lucky he didn't land on, on any of us. Um, whose turn is it now? So we went one, two. One, two, so it must be, <laughs> okay, don't skip Captain Britain again, here she goes, one, two, he's only got one health, right? One, two, three, four, here we go, this is what we wanted, we wanted to wake up with something good, right? And she's one space away, so I think she's okay, as long as she's got, as long as she's got something good. Um, yeah, let's, let's just use the wild, I guess, she can move in and punch, she didn't really even need to doesn't really matter what was on her card. She wakes up and in she comes, ha ha, and takes down um, Tarax, Dark Side. All right. Well, there you go. I'll uh, I'll let you guys get back to the the recap sort of thing or the uh, the the outro. But um, yeah, uh, I thought oh I could probably just uh, I hadn't fully packed it up, so I thought oh, I could probably just like replay it where it should have been from sort of thing. So that's good to know. We still could have pulled it off. All right, well, thanks, guys. I'll uh, I'll hand over to the other Meeple Monkey. Well, there you go, folks. Um, I don't know about you, but I think this is a huge improvement over uh, the 
Apocalypse battle, the, the Four Horsemen battle. Um, it's an interesting sort of battle, but it just kind of feels like a uh, like a half a game sort of thing. It's, it doesn't really feel super epic and that sort of thing. And I know it's meant to just be a prelude, uh, prelude to um, Apocalypse sort of thing, but this this feels like an event in itself leading up to uh, Galactus. This was this was real tough, and as you, as you saw, like it was looking pretty dicey there. And there might, I might, you know, I'm, I'm sure there's probably I've made a mistake here or there that might have affected the outcome. But um, just I hope you could see just how much fun and interaction and different things happening, and then from turn to turn, different things were going off, and and uh, you had to really think carefully about the puzzle. Like, okay, what do you want to prioritize? Like all of these three, like these things were super annoying. Um, well, I wonder if I. I never got rid of that. I wonder if I did any sort of actions over here where I was punching guys. I might have done a few little things here where I, I wouldn't have been able to punch them with enough hits too. But um, I don't think that like that that's not necessarily affecting the outcome. Although technically there might have been a little bit more overflow or something, but I don't think that would have happened here. Um, but yeah, like you know those those um, threats like the the one where they would have been ignoring damage, the ones where uh, it would have, we would have been would have been getting hit extra hard this one in particular this one I think you have to go for straight up um, that's that uh, one where it adds the extra crisis tokens that that dropped like six crisis tokens on us all up in that first uh, first round and that's yeah so and one thing to notice uh, or to bear in mind too when I play these games I guess this is how I sort of uh, counteract my easy modeness is that um, I don't, I think technically what you're supposed to do with the rules is you get to sort of choose your starting spots, you can look at what's available, um, look at how the starting setup and like choose your starting spots um, so that you know if, if this one is the one you really want to get rid of you might like put all your plonkier heroes down there to start with and, and so you can start working on it straight away sort of thing but I tend to like just sort of like randomly sort of putting them out thematically sort of picking the locations based on the characters and trying to pick locations that I think they would start in sort of thing although they're all from different places with this one so I just picked top and bottom and I always like filming it that way too sort of thing um, and then I like lining up my characters that way and just okay that's what I've chosen that's my order but technically I think you're allowed to sort of like you know as the game starts and then looking at what's happening you can choose your order um, like that sort of thing so um, that's another thing too, like, so you could probably be a little bit more strategic so, trying to sort of take that one out straight away sort of thing, rather than, like, we, we were sort of stuck, we, because our two starting characters were up here, um, we couldn't really deal with this until the next batch of characters, I think we made a little bit of a start on it with Captain America sort of thing, but, yes, yeah, so that's just something to bear in mind too with your strategy and that sort of thing as well, but, um, I, yeah, I really enjoyed that, that was super, super cool fun, and if you can, though, obviously, uh, these guys, BAMs are kind of, I guess, tailored to working within this, you know, with their, in their own uh, battle, but also within this larger one as well. So, like the modularity of the whole game system, some heroes and some, or, or I should say villains, probably would not suit this one or would, you know, really drastically alter the balance of this scenario. But technically, I think you could put most villains in here and all you have to do is just sort of have their BAM... Uh, effect and their health and uh, you could yeah you can have any herald you like sort of thing so that's pretty cool and I think that's that's the whole point of this whole like um, no no pictures on the on the thing there so yeah this is a great mode if you're looking to have just make a four villain battle uh, it's kind of like a little mini sinister six isn't it a four villain battle with any uh, villain holy moly this is this is great this would be fun to sort of try um, like the Wrecking Crew, because the Wrecking Crew are already a four-player battle sort of thing, so this would be fun to sort of <laughs> see how the Wrecking Crew go uh, in this format. And, you know, I did that four, I think it's four-player or four-villain upstart battle, and so you could, instead of having the upstarts uh, doing their thing where they're playing their competition, trying to trying to fight the, um, or, you know, trying to, trying to hunt down the, the mutants, you could have them doing this and just have them doing their BAMs or whatever and, uh, and yeah, going like that, so... Yeah, there's a lot of possibility with this. This is, I think, this is a great mode. This man, I, I, I was already really excited about the Galactus set and and just getting to play with Galactus, but this is an excellent mode. So the fact that you get this with Galactus, um, 
yeah, this this is a keeper for me. This is amazing. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys thought so too. Maybe maybe some of you thought, nah, it looks looks um, it's too easy because I was able to take it out straight away. But um, yeah, trust me, if you if you wanna if if you don't like playing on easy mode, then that tough tough mode is gonna be a real challenge. So um, yeah, all right. Well, uh, I'll, who knows um, what the next battle will be? Um, I, I keep promising Hulk or. Um, uh, a uh, Apo no, yeah, Apocalypse from Age of Apocalypse, uh, so maybe that'll be the next one. Uh, although I am tempted to now step up to a Galactus, but maybe we can work our way up to Galactus or something, so that'd be fun, but uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this one. And uh, like I always say, keep keep checking out the um, Marvel United Discord. Uh, there's lots of great uh, folks in there, great community, you know, whether you're just into sort of chatting about the hobby, uh, showing off your painting or getting tips and tricks on painting, uh, whether you want to follow along and, and join in all the discussions about the um, ongoing uh, DC Superheroes United campaign that's on uh, GameFound at the moment. Uh, you can also check out the Facebook um, Fanatics group. I've got the Meeple Monkey uh, Facebook community page as well. Uh, feel free to come along and join that. We just had a lot of fun with a, a, a bingo game, uh, trying to see who the new characters would be, and that was, that was a lot of fun too. Um, speaking of DC United, <laughs> super excited to see uh, Condiment King uh, pop up there too. That's that's excellent. And we've got these new character packs too. So lots of stuff to follow there. Uh, if you want to follow that, uh, there's some great videos out there. Um, gameplay videos by uh, the Co-op Guild and uh, Kanji Studios. Um, they're having some videos where they're discussing um, the campaign and, and doing like a buyer's guide. Check out Andrew Fantasia uh, on Digital Charcuterie. He's got some great, really enthusiastic videos discussing all things um, um, uh, DC United and... Um, Oh, there's another. Uh, oh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna blank on it now. Um, what was their name? Uh, Rock. I think it might be Rockshire Gaming. Um, he's a great guy too. Look, it looks like he does some good videos as well, and and he's uh, covering the campaign as well. So check out his stuff as well. Apologies if I've got that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Rockshire Gaming. So um, yeah, great community and um, the homebrew section of the. Uh, Discord and the Marvel United Wiki, definitely check that out. We're doing tons of stuff on there. Uh, lots of great new stuff coming out there all the time. Um, I can't wait to get, I'm, I'm very close to sort of finalizing the, the vehicle mode for G.I. Joe. I've got some great ideas there, getting some good artwork uh, done by Erwin Thunder. Lots of great new people jumping on board. Uh, Dom's building the uh, the big DC United uh, campaign map and he looks like he's reached out to the TMNT folks. And it's going to add the TMNT stuff to, to that uh, campaign map as well, as like a little optional uh, offshoot of the map sort of thing as well, if you if you got any of the, the homebrew stuff. So yeah, lots of great stuff happening there all, all the time. So uh, And if you're either interested in checking it out or interested in trying your hand at um, uh, homebrew, like there's a guy who's uh, in, in inspired by Overwatch, and, and Nelly Nell's done some great Overwatch stuff there, and I've noticed they've got together and are chatting about, you know, oh, what, what ideas they've, they've both got for Overwatch and that sort of thing as well. So... Yeah, great community, uh, lots of fun. What a great game the United System is. Can't wait to show off more of it on the channel. Um, lots of other videos. Hopefully, uh, if you guys want to see other gameplay videos and things for other games, let me know if there's any particular ones you want to see. But, um, yeah, we're having a lot of fun with United. So, all right, thanks, guys. Me for Monkey out. See ya.